Hello, mortals, and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a spirit haul a ween for you. I'm so sorry. Today's video is going to be a haul from Spirit Halloween. I'm definitely doing like a more casual witch look today. Like, honestly, this hair is like very Sailor Moon inspired. And I have my It's the Most Wonderful Time of Year t-shirt on for Unique Vintage and just my little, my little robe with stars on it. So I actually haven't been to Spirit Halloween in like a long time, like since high school. That sounds a little bit crazy, but I think it might have been literally since high school because I don't buy cheapy Halloween costumes and bags, as I've said before. So I no longer go there to try to find a Halloween costume. But I've been seeing so many haul videos pop up on my YouTube feed, which I've also found so many amazing like creators where I'm like, we have very similar aesthetics. But just in recent weeks because of all the great Halloween stuff that's happening. So I've seen people find these amazing like decorations there, which for me, that's what a girl's looking for. So I had no idea that they even had, um, like they have a Beetlejuice collection right now. They have a Sanderson sister. Um, they have Nightmare Before Christmas. Like they have all this cool stuff. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, I gotta check it out. Did I buy a lot of things? Yes, but all those things were actually a very good deal. So I'm not mad at it. I mostly picked up the core items and I got a couple of hats. But I did see some like kind of cute like skater dress things. Like, there's a cute Sally skater dress, but they didn't have any more smalls. They only had the extra large, so I had to pass, but that was actually super cute. And the Spirit Halloween that I went to actually just opened up today for the first time in Burbank. And it was so close to me. It's fantastic. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Kaz, AKA the Queen of Glitter. And uh, we do some pretty fun, magical stuff around here. DIYs, Disney. Halloween galore at this current moment of time. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, stick around and just hit that subscribe button. But yeah, so I've been wanting to go to Spirit Halloween, but I was waiting for the one that was close to me to actually open. And today was the first day that it was open. So of course I went like right when it opened at 10 a.m. And yeah, it was pretty great. Also, there's just like a lot of stuff going on in the world right now that's making me very like anxious and sad and being able to go like smell the glitter at Spirit Halloween just like really like made my day so much better today. So I think there's a lot to be said for some retail therapy. Let's cut to the footage of me heading to Spirit Halloween. We are going to Spirit Halloween, but first I need coffee because I feel like I'm dead inside today. Yay, we have coffee. <laughs> And apparently the Spirit Halloween is literally across the street from my Starbucks, so. This is a good day. But it's confusing online, it said that this one was open, but on um, Apple Maps it says it's not open yet. But it looks kinda open, so we're just gonna go check it out. We have a giant sign that says now open, so we are good to go. It's literally just opened like 15 minutes ago, so I might be one of the first people ever in the Spirit Halloween, which is pretty exciting. Walking into the Spirit Halloween, I was seriously having like flashbacks to my childhood. And I remembered how much this display in the front that you have to walk through always used to terrify me. And now it doesn't scare me quite as much, although I would not want a giant clown statue in my living room, I might say. But there was so many cool things to look at immediately. I saw all the home decor stuff, which is really why I was here. There's a whole kind of classic Halloween setup. This wreath, oh my gosh, I thought that was so cute. Broomsticks. There's a whole Ouija board section, which I thought was really cute. And I used to be like really into the Ouija aesthetic. Um, I love especially that doormat. I like probably don't want a satanic star in my house just because I am slightly afraid of demons, but they had a lot of really cute tablecloths and stuff too. And the crystal ball was cool but it was like a little bit much for me, but I would like to get a crystal ball at some point in time. 
there's been a really big tarot theme this year. And then, oh my gosh, all of the Hocus Pocus merchandise. I mean, can you even? This was so good. There were so many things that I love from this, and it was really hard to choose. Because honestly, all of it was just like really, really good. If you love Hocus Pocus, definitely you need to go to Spirit Halloween because they have it. Then the whole Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Oh my gosh. They also did a really good job. I love the variety and like different types of decorations that they had. Things to go on the wall. Things to, you know, sit on your bed. The little plushies were so cute. They had this amazing set of books, but I already have one, of course. I was looking for a very specific sword in the weapons. I could not find it. I've been looking for like a skinny fencing fake sword for my Wesley costume. And for some reason I can't find it anywhere. The ones that I have found online will like arrive in November. So I'm probably just gonna have to end up making it, but they did have a lot of different weapons, um, which was cool. Cause sometimes it's hard to find kind of the specific aesthetic you're going for. They also had a million hats, which was great. I definitely think they had more than Party City um, and a lot of variety. Obviously some of these are like, not okay, like stop selling that. But um, yeah, definitely for like Indiana Jones, Carmen San Diego, all these different types of top hats. I was like, man, this is the time of year to buy a top hat. So many cool different gloves too, I was totally obsessed with. I didn't really need any gloves at this point. I was looking at their leggings because I needed silver pants for this one costume. Um, ended up not going with it. This is always a good place to buy little boy shorts. And they have just like random stuff like skirts and corsets and you know, um, things just to kind of build costumes off of, which I think is always really helpful and honestly a better way to do it. They had some fairy tale stuff. There was all the Harry Potter stuff, um, but obviously we don't buy that because we know where those royalties are going. Honestly, all the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff is really cool too. Um, I really, I think that you should like make your own costume if you're gonna do that, but they're pretty good. And all oh, the whole Scooby gang, I kind of want a Scooby-Doo onesie is that is that terrible of me the harley quinn stuff was really good um but again it's something that you could probably make yourself like a lot of the items but also a lot of the items can definitely be used for cosplays like they were pretty good like i spirit halloween did not used to be this good hilariously with the hocus pocus costumes you could buy either like the sassy version or like the more accurate version and they had tons of pirate stuff which was cool because i was looking for a pirate hat while I was here, and maybe a pirate belt, but none of their pirate belts were more like accurate. They were just kind of like sassy belts. I love steampunk stuff. Um, I considered those goggles just because sometimes I am looking for that, but they had a lot going on. And their flappers dresses were actually pretty nice. Like I wasn't surprised, uh, I wasn't expecting them to be that good looking oh my gosh this whole witch section though i was they got me they knew i was coming everything had a purple like <laughs> merchandise backgrounds too so i was already like oh dear we're gonna have to buy at least one of these things and they just had like casual halloween stuff um but i thought most of it was pretty ugly i don't know This jacket, if it were cheaper, I would have bought. Oh my gosh, that literally just made me so happy. There were just so many spooky things. I just spent a decent amount of money, but I just got some really cool stuff and it's all like a really good deal. So I'm very excited and I cannot wait to show you guys what I just got. So we are back here, home sweet, haunted home. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I bought and I'm really excited about it and can you tell, I still very, I just did not sleep well last night. I'm very tired, but maybe some more coffee will help. Oh my God, I almost died by ice cube on camera. 
Okay, crises averted. Let's dive in, shall we? I'm starting off with this adorable wreath that I got, which is so adorable. I love the black with the orange and the sparkles and the little cat and the ghosts and the pumpkins. I just think that this is like so adorable. And I saw it and I was like immediately, oh, my heart is a flutter. But I was like, it's a wreath. Wreaths are usually way overpriced for what they were. This was literally $5.99. $5.99. But this wreath, this is a pretty, this is like a little bit bigger than my head. <laughs> you know, it's a little bit bigger than my head. So I just think this is adorable. And I definitely want to put this on the front door or even just somewhere in my room. I don't know. Like I'm going to try to decorate the house this weekend. Um, so I have to go into all the Halloween stuff and kind of go through some of the new stuff that I bought. So this will definitely find its way, I'm sure, onto something. Next thing I picked up was from the Nightmare Before Christmas collection, just because I wanted to have, I don't know, some sort of decoration from that. And I was looking for the cheapest thing that they had. <laughs> Guilty as charged. But I got this adorable flag and it says, every day is Halloween. So they also had a really cute, um, not placemat, floor mat. You know, you walk in and there's a mat. What do they call it? Doormat? Door rug? A doormat, right? I don't know. There was a, also a rug that you can put outside your door. I think it's called a doormat. I don't know why I can't think what it's called right now. But <laughs> that also said every day is Halloween. But I actually kind of like the flag. I mean, you have a flag holder actually, but... I just thought this was really cute for all year round. Like it has a little stringy so you can um, hang it with like a push pin too. So very cute. They had a lot of really cute stuff. $6.99, amazing. Okay, so the next thing I actually saw in this other girl's <laughs> spirit Halloween video um, and I knew that I had to have this. So it's a sign for the Sanderson Museum and um, I, there was a bigger version of this too, but I actually do like the smaller one. So it says Sanderson Museum of Witchcraft, Salem, Massachusetts. Um, and it also has like a little thingy so you can set it up like on a table as opposed to hanging it on the wall. But it also has a little ribbon for that as well. So I just thought this was super cute. And I feel like the smaller size is going to be easier to kind of fit. Um, and this was only $9.99, which is also a great deal. Next, I also saw this in another video, but I just thought this was so good. Um, this cute little kitchen towel, which I've been collecting a couple that I'm gonna look at and put out this weekend, but it says, oh look, another glorious morning, iconic lines, makes me sick. It just is like, it's really well done. They actually had a lot of different things. They had like cups and stuff with this quote on it, um, but I felt like, this is something that I'll use for years to come in my Halloween decor and it was just really cute and it was also a good deal. It was only $5.99. So at that at that price, I'm like, why why would I not? Right. Okay, the next thing I got was this really cute de decal. Decal? Decal, that's what it's called. Um, it says where my witch is at. And I actually got this because a lot of the things on my car are starting to fade away, like my castle of disneyland is like really in bad shape and my bumper stickers i usually replace in ashland um from the shakespeare festival are basically faded away because i didn't get to go this year because covid 19. so this i thought would be really cute on my car i'm looking to kind of find some more cute bumper sticker type things for it and then i also got this magnet that says i lit the black flame candle um and i just think this is really cute i have a little pin of this that trent got me but so the magnet was $4.99 and then the decal was $2.99. So I thought these were both really good deals. And I think I'm probably gonna put both of them on my car to make it a little bit more spooky and I'm so excited. Next, I got some really cute little scrunchies. Um, so this has three in it. One has the pumpkins on it. One's just sparkly orange and one is this velvety black material. But I just thought this was absolutely adorable. Um, and I've been looking for more like hair accessories, jewelry, that kind of stuff to kind of add to some of my spooky outfits. Just something I've been trying to just kind of like accessorize things in new ways. And I feel like the orange especially is gonna look like really cute in my purple hair. So I just had to go for it. So this was $6.99. And then I got this super cute pair of socks. So these like 
sparkly purple. I love them. I think they're gonna look really cute with heels. And these say Good Witch on them, you can see. Um, and then there's also these black ones that say Bad Witch. So you get both sides of the coin, you know what I'm saying? Um, but these are just so adorable. So these were $7.99. Next is another Nightmare Before Christmas thing that I thought was really cool. Um, oh, looks like the top of the bottle is missing. What the? I don't know how that happened. Um, but this is this really cool, lights up on its own, and it says Deadly Nightshade. So I thought that was really awesome. Um, and I'm always looking for like bottles to add to my collection. I like doing things around the cauldron. Like I'm just always kind of looking for fun bottles. And I thought this was like a really cute, cute little kind of nod to Nightmare Before Christmas. And this one was $12.99. So a little bit more expensive, but the fact that it came with the lights and I just really like the aesthetic of it. Um, but I know I'm really upset. The, the little like stopper is missing. Like what the frick? man next thing is also nightmare before christmas i thought this was so cool but it's a little oogie boogie pumpkin and he lights up too um although i don't think he has any batteries in him right now no he does not but how freaking cute is that like so cute um so this lights up and i just like it i feel like it would be really cute like just as a background prop like i like kind of switching it around and i feel like this again is gonna be like a, a <sighs> Like in the end, in when I have a home, like I would love to do a whole nightmare before Christmas display around Halloween, or even just also all year round, because I have dreams of like having a house where every room is decorated in a different theme. You got your Disney, you got your Pokemon, you got your HP, you know, you got it all. So hopefully one day he will have a true home. But this was $9.99. Next is more Sanderson sister merch, but this was just too cool. It's basically the same thing as the sign, but it's a little notebook. And I just love like the colors of it. I love how it picks up the light. The skull says on all Hallows Eve, when the moon is round, someone us from under the ground. Like this is so cool. And it was only $7.99. So I don't know. I just really think it's super cool. And it's gonna be really cool in photos. Um, and definitely, I, I have a huge collection of notebooks, obviously, like, it's pretty bad. But I I use them, so it's like, this will be used. It's fine. Next is another Sanderson sister thing, and I debated between this and getting the candle that said I lit the black flame candle, but in the end, I felt like I might use this a little bit more. I still kind of want that candle. I'll definitely think about it, but I love Binks, and I thought this was such a cute little sign that can either go on the wall or it can go just like as a display on a table and it says, you're going to turn me into one of those fat, useless, contented house cats, aren't you, Binks? I love him. Um, it's such a good movie. I'm so excited to watch it again. But I just thought this was super duper cute. And again, I really like the shine on it. Um, and at first I thought that like it was appearing letters when I first saw it. I was like, oh, maybe you walk one way and you don't see it. And you walk the other way and you do. No, it's just shiny. But still, I just, I think it's really cool and I really like it. And this was $12.99. Okay, we are down to our last items here. And um, one of these is for a costume. So, and I've been looking for this for a while. So I found um, a brown pirate hat, finally, five million years later. It's not exactly perfect, but I literally can't find the type of pirate hat that I'm looking for for a reasonable price. But this one was only $12.99. There was definitely a much nicer pirate hat that was $20. Like this, the structure of it was a lot nicer, but it was blacks, which is not what I'm looking for. So I decided to go with this brown one anyways and I think it's gonna be good for my Elizabeth Swan even though if it's not exact like I'm just kind of working with what I got at this point point. and then I'm so excited about this which is the most expensive thing that I bought but I got this beautiful purple witch's hat which is so cute like it has all of this beautiful lace on the edge and the stars and the moons and this like bow on the back and it's just really, oh, I love it. I think it's so beautiful. Like a lot of the witches hats that I see that are more like intense are honestly pretty gaudy and ugly, but I like love this. This is so me and it's purple to match my hair, my little purple witch aesthetic. So I just think this is so adorable and I'm very, very excited about it. That is everything that I got from Spirit Halloween. 
Comment down below what your favorite item was or if you're looking for something specific that you've seen like another video or online that you would love to go to Spirit and find. I'd love to know what that is as well. Oh, but it was really nice just to go and like get deep into the spookiness like oh, I really needed it today. I really needed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video, but until then, stay spooky. Bye-bye. Yeah.